friends, welcome to the course of Code Writer for RESTful API Development using SIL Authentication. Inside this video, we'll see the concept of that is what is Cedar and how to use it inside application. If I back to editor, so inside last two videos, we had seen and understood all about the concept of query builder methods as well as model based query methods. Now this time, we'll understand a concept that is what is Cedar, how to create that and how to use it inside application. So first thing first, what is Cedar? So inside Codec Data 4, Cedar is a class file. By the help of that, we can generate some dummy data for our database tables. So Cedar files will be created using Spark CLI command. And by the help of that, we can do some code logic and by the help of that, we can insert some test data inside our table. So let's see all these things in action. So first thing first, let's create a Cedar class file. So once we create any Cedar class file, it will go and store inside this app, database and seeds folder. So right now here as we can see that here we have only a file that is product.php which we had created when we had seen the concept of our spark CLI scaffolding command. Now this time we will create a realistic Cedar file and see that how to use it to actually create some dummy data for our table. Let's go back to terminal. So if I type php spark, press enter, it will provide all about our spark CLI commands. If you go inside generators, now here as we can see that make cedar. So once we use this command, look at its single line description, it generates a new cedar file. So what I will do, let's say php spark make cedar and let's say that I want to generate some test data for a student's table. So I want a cedar for this student's table. So what I will do, let's say student and I will pass suffix. It means student cedar.php file will be created. Press enter. Now we can see that student cedar.php inside seeds folder. Let's back to editor. So here we can see that student cedar.php I will open that file and as we can see that it's a class file. So inside this class by default the skeleton of cedar has provided a run method. So let's implement some code here and by the help of that we can create some dummy data. So here inside this run method let's say this db I will use table method and also be aware about this table method it is going to return a table object. So students and here let's say builder, builder is a table object and by the help of builder we'll call insert method and inside this we need to pass a set of data so here let's say name next we'll have the second column as email And finally we have the phone column and this is the phone value. So once we execute this run method, this data, it means this data set by the help of this table object will be inserted inside this student's table. So how to execute this run method? If I go here inside terminal, again if I type php spark, so if we go inside this database group, now we can see here we have a command called dbseed. So once we execute this command, after specifying the class name, it means see the class name. So in that case, run method automatically will be executed. So how to use this command? Let's say php spark db colon seed and here if I type, let's before using this command, if I type help here, press enter. So this is all about the help manual of command called dbseed. So before using dbseed, we can see here that we can pass a cedar name here and the cedar name is nothing, it's the cedar class name. So once we specify the class name called student cedar, so automatically this run method will be executed. So let's use that. So php spark db seed 
and if I copy the class name, go here, put it here, press enter. Now we can see data seeded by using this student seeder. If I go to table, let's reload this table and hopefully we'll see one more row and this time this row has been inserted by using our seeder based concept. So this is only for a single row insertion. In some cases, if we want to generate 100 number of rows, so it will be very tough to create all those 100 rows like in the static way. So is there any way to generate some dummy data automatically using any library? So yes, it is possible inside Code Igniter 4 by using a factory. Inside older versions, inside legacy versions, either we need to install that packages using Composer, but in this case, automatically this package is available by default so that we can use and generate some dummy data inside for this application. So how to use Faker library here? So let's say use Faker and I will call factory. So if anyone asks that what is a faker, so faker is a composer package by the help of that and its methods, we can generate dummy data, it means huge amount of dummy data for our database table. So after writing, means after importing fake faker factory, let's create a method here that is public function, let's say generate student and here what I will do, let's return or before writing this return, let's say faker equals to factory. It means factory, let's remove this auto added line here. So factory and we'll call create method. So this is an object of factory and by the help of this object, we will call our methods. Those methods going to return some dummy data. So here, let's return, make an array. So we want first a dummy value for student name. So by using this object called faker, here as we can see, here we have property called name. Also we have a method available. So either we can call this name property or name method. So once we call this property or method, it will return the random value. So this is for the name. Next we want email. So faker. Also here we can see that email is also a method and also email is a property. So once we use this email property or method, it's going to return a random email value. Now next we need for the phone number. So phone faker will call phone here. We can see here we have a phone number as a method and it is also available in terms of a property. So I will use, use this property. So once we use all these values, so automatically whenever we call this method, this method in every time returns an array and inside each array will have some unique values because each time it will call this figure object all these properties. So every time it will return the unique random value. Go here. So instead of inserting a static row, let's use for loop here. So id means i equals to 0. Let's say that we want something called 100 number of rows. So 500 i plus plus it means this this loop will execute or will start from 0 index up to 499 and here inside this for loop let's say this not this builder will call insert method and inside this insert method will call this generate student. So this line of code is going to execute 499 times from 0th index and each time this method will return the unique random value and we will get 500 number of rows inside our table. So save all these changes, go here, let's execute php spark db seed and we need to pass the class name. So this is the seeder class name, just copy and paste it here, press enter. So it is inserting the 100 number of rows, so it is taking time. Go here, we can see already we have means 3 rows, so hopefully we'll get 503 number of rows. And it is taking time. 
So successfully and finally, it has actually seeded all the data inside the student's table. So if I go and reload this table, now we can see that we have a bulk of data. In this case, we have dummy name, dummy email value as well as dummy phone number. If I go and sort into descending order, we can see here 505 the last ID and here as you can see 503 total it means total records inserted equals to 500. So successfully this is all about the concept of Cedar that what is a Cedar, why we create Cedar inside application and how to use that. Inside next video we will see some more different concepts. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.